Welcome to FT Data Center. Drew here. In the wake of the Sony hacks, the OPM hacks, and the Snowden hacks, it seems like the number of hacks is constantly increasing. My question is, how long will it be until someone hacks the most vulnerable piece of the IT pipeline? Today, I'd like to talk about security, or more specifically, facility security, or more specifically still, facilities network security. Okay, let me take a step back a minute while I define my terms. Let's look at our data center. So, here's our data center. We have two crack units in here and a condensing unit outside. We also have a UPS, and they're all connected together in a network. This is the facilities network that we're talking about, these red cables. These facilities networks are some of the least protected networks in all of networking. Most of these units communicate together using SNMP or Modbus or BACnet or some other open protocol. The problem with all of these protocols is that they transfer their data unencrypted. Also, a lot of the equipment on these networks operates with factory default passwords years after they're initially installed. I can name several default passwords just off the top of my head. In fact, they are readily available in service manuals which you can search online for free. Shutting down these units could cause your servers to overheat and literally shut down your data center. These units don't even need to be connected to the internet to be compromised. Stuxnet, the worm that infiltrated the Iranian nuclear enrichment plants, was installed using a USB drive. But there are ways to protect your data center facilities networks. First of all, make friends with your IT folks. They monitor network traffic and are better equipped to deal with intrusions than facilities operators. Connect through their network. Second, Create VLANs that can isolate systems to contain viruses if they should break out. Third, create a network topology that firewalls the facilities network from the rest of the network and use robust encryption and security credentials for access. Fourth, change your passwords. It's not that hard. If I walk into another data center where the default password is password, I will lose all faith in humanity. There are many more ways to protect your facilities network. If you're not careful, you could be the first big victim of the facilities hack that we've all been worried about for years. As always, thanks for watching. And until next time, stay centered. Brought to you by GreenLane Design. To learn more, visit GreenLaneDesign.com.